Hi, I'm Kari, and for today's Stay and Play, I'm going to be showing you how to make salt crystals. This is a super fun and easy science project that I used to enjoy doing when I was younger. Okay, so what you will need is a glass jar, a stick, like a pencil or a pen or a lollipop stick or anything that can fit over your jar, some cotton thread, some water, and some table salt. Now we're moving on to stage two where we're going to be making our salt water solution. For this, you may need adult supervision as we are gonna require boiling water. The easiest way I've found to do this is to take your jar, fill it up about three quarters high um, with water, pour that into a jug and then put it in the microwave um, for a couple of minutes until bubbles start to form and it starts boiling. So once you've got your boiling water, you can start adding your salt. Keep adding salt in small amounts until it stops dissolving in the water. Now we have our salt solution, all that's left to do is pour it into the jar, making sure to do this slowly and carefully. Finally, add back the pencil and the string in the middle of the jar. And now this is where the magic should start to happen. Find somewhere safe to leave your jar and leave it undisturbed. And within the next 24 hours, you should see crystals start to form on your string. And the longer you leave it, the bigger the crystals will grow. So this is what my crystals look like after a couple of days. I got these results uh, by just using tap water and leaving my jar in a dark place. But you could try experimenting with this to get different results, such as by using uh, different types of water, like bottled water or deionized water, or leaving your jar in a different place, like in the sunlight. So make sure to share your results and what your crystals look like with me online. And also follow Staying and Playing for more fun things to do every day.